Well, it's knockout time. It is still, of course, just a game of football, but it is a different game of football in terms of its mood. I don't think that you could get away with telling any of these players, let alone the crowd assembled here, that this is anything like what went before. As far as winning the competition is concerned, every game from this point on is win or bust. It is knockout football time. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. That was impressive. Match that. Well, this is a noisier occasion all round. Everybody, Jim, knows what's at stake here. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. That gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Raheem Sterling. He could be the key man for me, Peter, because he's so quick and direct with the ball at his feet. And that low center of gravity also makes it hard to knock him off the ball. You know, he can turn very quickly. He's also improved his end product in recent years, and he's more capable of finishing with a plum now. His whole game has matured beautifully. He's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Oh, shooting chance! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Hoists it forward. William Carvalho. And it's played forward. Guerrero plays it forward. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Chance! Oh, good stop by the keeper. Ronaldo is flagged offside. Well, they won't be deterred from trying again, Peter. They have the bit between their teeth now. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Bruno Fernandes gets it back. Kane. He's got it, and he's got some point blank header. Oh, what a wonderful stop. Sancho sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it.
Back into the middle. Gonzalo Guedes goes up and over. Jordan Henderson. Bernardo's little doubt. That is a foul. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Maguire. Still goalless at the moment. And it's Shaw. In with a header! Another fruitless header. How hard can it be to time a jump with the right contact? It's not that difficult, is it? England take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Gonzalo Guedes. Oh, he's in! Close the goal! And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Alexander Arnold. <laughs> Striding, big chance! And he's there to make a great save. Sancho really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Bruno Fernandes knocks it away. Foden hits one. Oh, that is very close. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Portugal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Alexander Arnold. Now it's Kane. The whistle's gone, presumably for offside. And it's Carvalho. And it's been taken straight back. And the counter-attack is on for England. Sterling drives it forward. And the shot! And out to safety. Rice. Mings. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. 
Ruben Diaz can get it clear. Gonzalo Guedes. Rice. Maguire. That's sprayed out wide. Sterling. Sterling spreads it towards the left. Good idea, just poorly executed. Towering header! Oh, they just couldn't turn it in. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box, just to allow him to get to it. And the first half is done. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But one that still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to it. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. England, happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. England going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit. But they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Over to the left. Guerrero. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Gonzalo Guedes has been caught there, it's a foul. Portugal making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. Chance! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Sterling looks to clip it forward. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Cristiano Ronaldo really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Sancho. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, better communication and, and lots of contact seems to be the, the route to quieting him down there. Finds himself eased off the ball. Portugal showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Henderson already, of course, on the score sheet. Sterling plays it out to the wing. That's it! This could fall anywhere. Oh, real danger here. Sancho tries a header. No, he didn't quite meet it right. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Good ball. Well read, he sorted that out. He's looking to get there first. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, that's where he wants it. Maguire has well to read it and intercepts. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? And the finish! A real chance and a real let-off. 
Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Flick ball forward. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. William Carvalho tries to get it forward quickly. Henderson gets it back. Sterling with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. And it's Carvalho. Lovely bit of skill there. Portugal are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Gets the better of his man. Tries to cross. Up to meet it! And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. England are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And there's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. He gets past his man. Sterling, shot a goal! Oh, and that should have been two. He got two ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Gonzalo Guedes pushes to get on the end of it. Get himself offside. England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Rui Patricio gets it upfield. Portugal have it back and they can go again. Now it's Sterling. And the weighted pass. It's Kane! And that would have been game, set and match. Kane really thought he'd scored to settle this contest, and he's struggling to believe being denied. Great lead! No mistake! Two ahead, late in the day, game over, surely. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that save. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. They should accomplish it. Things starting to look very comfortable. Now it's Sterling. Offside that time. You can hear the annoyance in the crowd. The frustration is growing. Forward pass. Got a sight of goal here. Cleared without complication. That'll be a throw. Portugal with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. Bruno Fernandes. Great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Bruno Fernandes plays it short. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Across the line, and it's a throw. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle.
Saka gets into the right position to intercept. And he's there to cut it out. Now it's Kane. Joel Moutinho. And the referee brings it to a close. So that's the first round done. And on we go. No reflections then, Jim. Look, it's not a football. And ultimately, a win is what counts. And they seem to be able to 